Hi y'all, this is Regina. I've had a question of, about downloading files, the zip files in particular, and people are having trouble watching the video or unzipping the, the zip file, sorry. So here's the last file that I uploaded. This particular post is just a picture of the design. Scroll down a little bit and here is a link to it in the file section. Now if I scroll back up, let me go up here, here's the file section. If you click on it, these are the files that I have in there. I've removed some of them that have been up for uh, since I started the group and I'll put new ones on, some of them I'll leave. But when you download these files because of Facebook, and something they've done, you, we can't upload zip files. At least it doesn't let me do it. So when you download this, you click on it either here or, let me get back over here, or in the post itself. So if I click on this, it opens up, this is um, Windows 10, it opens up your file manager you need to know where you're going to put this design. So right now, I, I have several drives and I'm going to save this drive. I'm going to pretend that I'm a member of the group. I'm not the administrator and I'm going to save designs in my on my hard drive. So designs that I've bought, I keep in a folder that says embroidery designs. You could put it to say embroidery designs I've downloaded or whatever. In that I have all these different uh, folders and each one is a person I've bought designs from or downloaded free. So you could put on there, you could create a new folder that says Regina's crafting and more group or Facebook group. Facebook group. I do something like that. So we'll say I'm doing this on my hard drive as a member of the group. And then I would double click on this and click here where the name is. You can double click if it turns blue. Oh, now that I've <laughs> clicked it once, it won't do it. If it turns blue, just click again. Click at the end of the name, back up once and I'm going to back up and take this dash off so that the file now reads pumpkinandvines.zip not zipp -P, but zip and then click save so now when I go back to embroidery designs I've downloaded and I go to Regina's Crafting More uh, back up uh, Regina's Crafting and More, there's my fault, my folder or my zip file. To unzip it, if you'll go to pzip, let me just open a browser real quick. All right, so hopefully you can see. If you will go to pzip.com, oh, that's not what I want to do. Let's just type pzip and this is where you need to go, right here. Go here and download this and install it. You would click there, click on download pzip if you're using Windows, put it in your downloads folder and then double click it. When you double click it, because it is an exe, which is an executable file, it will automatically install. Okay, so let me close this window and let me close this and go back over here to my file. So after your pzip installs, this is a great unzipper. I got tired of paying and everybody wants to pay more and more and more and more and I got sick of it. So years ago I started using this pzip and a designer suggested, an embroidery designer, digitizer, whatever you want to call us, suggested this. So Go to your P, your zip file that you downloaded, click on it, right click, and go to pzip and say extract here, smart folder. Oh, they've changed the way it's doing or it's uh, Windows. There's been some change. But you want to say smart folder because what it does is it puts it in its own separate folder. 
So let me click there. And what happened? Hello. Okay, so let me, oh, there it is. So it puts it on its own folder. And within that folder, the file that I gave you has these sizes. In each of these, here's what you get. For people that have Baby Lock or Brother Machines, you have this. Your um, Viking, I think, are these. Anyhow, each file has multiple files in it, which are for all the different not all because my software doesn't let me do all of them for whatever reason but that's where how you get these files to unzip all right if you have any questions either send me a facebook messenger or make a post on the group so others can learn from whatever question you have thanks for watching bye bye